What is up everyone? Welcome to your seventh JavaScript tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking more about functions and specifically what those parentheses are and why you need them whenever you create a function. Well let's go ahead and first create a function and let's go ahead and name it meatball. Why not? And then go ahead and add your parentheses. Now let's go ahead and make the body right now before we start talking about the parentheses. Um, let's just go ahead and make an alert box. We'll just leave it empty for now. So now what we need to do is talk about this parentheses. These parentheses are called the parameter of our function. Now sometimes you need additional information in order for your function to work. For example, if you made a function to convert the temperature of Fahrenheit to calculus, you would need a temperature in order to know what number to convert. If you made a function in order to, you know, greet someone like, hello Bucky, hello Tina, hello Tom, you would need their name in order to know how to greet them. So let's go ahead and make a function with a parameter. Now, in order to make a parameter, just go ahead and type in the name of a variable like x or something like that. And then later on, whenever you're creating the body, you go ahead and you use that x just like you would a normal variable. So for example, I love and then go ahead and write X. So now whenever we use this function we need instead of let me go ahead and just uh, type something like meat ball and then we need to pass in a value and let's just say bacon or something like that. So now here is what's gonna happen. Let me run this for you. Maybe that'll be easier. Oh it's off the screen. Let me uh, run it on the screen run chrome there you go right here I love bacon okay so why did it say I love bacon and what exactly is going on well you see we called our function and used it right here but since this function has a parameter it says alright in order to use this function I need one extra piece of information so whatever information we gave it right here it actually took this word bacon and it said x now equals bacon. So now in the body of my function, whenever I come across the variable x, I substitute it with whatever you gave me, which is bacon. So let's go ahead and call this again uh, with, um, what else do I love? Natalie Portman and um, the movie Good Will Hunting. So now let's go ahead and save this and run it and maybe this will be easier to see. It says I love bacon first and then you press OK and then it says I love Natalie Portman press OK and then it says I love Goodwill Hunting press OK. So now you can see that it's the same function it just has different information being passed into it and by the way I keep saying pass because the technical term whenever you give additional information into a function it's called passing it information into its parameters so this the parentheses are technically called its parameters and when we give information into it it's called passing information but anyways you can say substituting variables it really doesn't matter as long as your program works so anyways you could see that whenever we gave it extra information it said I love and then it substituted that information as X so it says, I love bacon, I love Natalie Portman, I love Goodwill Hunting. So that is how you can use parameters whenever you're, you know, want to use additional information for your function. So this is a really simple example using an alert box. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to show you what happens if your function needs more than just one piece of information. Maybe it needs three names instead of just one. Maybe it needs a couple numbers instead of just one. So anyways, that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do. It's called passing multiple parameters into a function. And it can get kind of complex, but as long as you stick with me, then you'll be okay. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this tutorial, and uh, I'll see you next time.